Hi guys, it's me, Chicken Me Honey. I'm back with um, a tutorial, uh, basically my wash and go routine. I wanted to show you guys what I did today and what I'll be doing um, from now on. Um, first of all, I got my hair cut. Um, the blonde just wasn't working out. I made it really dry and brittle. So I went and had her um, put a darker demi-permanent on my hair and then I just had her cut it because the ends were really, really bad. So, um, after I got home, I had washed my hair because um, she left the conditioner in my hair. So, I washed my hair with the Malibu Hard Water Wellness Shampoo. This is a gentle, uh, clarifying shampoo. It's safe for color-treated hair. I do have a demi-color. It's a level two on my hair, so eventually it will rinse off. Um, so, I wanted to do a clarifying treatment first, and then I wanted to go back to the Olaplex um, standalone treatment. This is a two-step process. You can mix it in with your bleach, but I did the standalone. I used a half ounce of the number one mixed with three ounces of water. Um, you put it in an applicator bottle. After you shampoo your hair, you put the uh, solution on your hair. You let it sit for five minutes. Then without rinsing, you put a good dose of the Olaplex number two on it, and then you let it sit for 10 um, minutes. I let it sit for 20 minutes. Then um, I rinsed that out and I shampooed with the Joyco K-Pack Color Therapy because again, I am color treated. Uh, this doesn't leave my hair dry. And then I followed up with a conditioning um, treatment, actually a deep conditioning treatment, the Moisture Recovery Treatment Balm by Joyco as well. So I'm gonna start my wash and go. It's the same technique I use. I uh, just never showed you guys really um, since I updated my hair. So what I do is I spritz my hair with water and usually I do this in a shower, but my daughter is filming for me today. So I'm going to wet it with water just to kind of get it damp. Because I towel dried it or air dried it um, in my t-shirt. I don't dry my hair with the towel. And what I'm going to do is saturate a little more water in it. So I don't want it soaking wet. I picked up this uh, Color Lover by Farnese. It's the Primer 11 Intense. It, it's supposed to retain color, um, help with damage repair, silk and shiny, six frizz, uh, body, S body, men's ends, detangle, style support, no static, thermal guard, and weightless. This is their version of the It's a 10. First time using it. So, again, because I'm color treated, I'm going to um, just try it. I'm trying to stick within the line. So I'm going to put some of that on my hair, and I'm going to concentrate in the middle, kind of work it through. It's kind of like creamy, I don't know if you can see this, it has a uh, good slip, it smells kind of like perfume, but okay. So I'm going to run it through, concentrating all over my hair, and then I'm going to do the Kinky Curly Knot today, I always use this as a leave-in no matter what um, I come back to this and so what I do I just get it through my hair and I really don't section um, especially when my hair is short because there's really no need to I do put a good amount of the leave-in in though because this is what gives me a uh, definition and again I concentrate in my crown area because that's where it's the um, coarsest and I need more moisture there. So kind of scrunch it to kind of get some curls to start forming. I don't know if you can see, so I'm going to move up. I'm going to put some argan oil. This is 100% um, argan oil from Trader Joe's. So basically, I'm doing the L O. I'm not do going to do a cream um, because I'm just not. So I'm doing the leave-in and the oil. For my styler, what I am going to use, I'm going to use um, Jane Carter's Nourish Mousse. So once I got that worked in, I'm going to use the Wrap and Roll. It's a smoothing styling mousse by Jane Carter. I use this um, instead of using a gel. I don't want a hard hold. I just want my definition to be kind of locked in. 
Sometimes I will alternate with a gel and then put the mousse on top. But again, my hair is so short, I really don't want it to be hard and crunchy. Um, so she really didn't taper me in. She really didn't give me um, any rhyme or reason why she cut it like this. It, I guess it's better than having a tape taper because I hate taper. I guess it's even all the way around. But um, we'll see what it looks like when it dries. So I still want to lay down my edges. So we know we're going to use the Eagle Teller. I'm going to use the green olive oil and just start kind of smoothing it back on my edges. Get the front. And then I go in the back. And I'm going to let this air dry. It's not going to take too long. Um, because it's short and because my hair is high porosity so um, then something else that I do I put a little bit of the clear eagle styler just because it gives me a firmer hold um, for my edges don't ask why I use two I just do and I just use it because my edges are kind of hard to lay down I'm not going to do any swoops so, I'm going to take my little pick, I'm going to fluff it out, and then I have this black band. I put this band on my hair um, just to kind of push it back a little because that's how I wear my hair. I wear my hair um, pushed back up off my face, and so I found that by tying a band, it'll set my edges and then if it was nighttime, which is not, I would put my big bonnet on. I always wear a big bonnet because it doesn't smash my hair down as much. So I'm going to let this dry. But this is it, guys. This is what my hair is looking like. Uh, hopefully you can catch it on camera. But I'm back to my dark color. Um, back to my new growth. Uh, it may be a light on the ends as the teller washes off, but that's fine. The most important part was getting rid of the um, limp hair. My hair was fried. My curls definitely loosened up with the blonde. So until next time, guys. Bye.